Hey guys, welcome back to West of Loathing. I've been monkeying with my camera some because I kind of want some natural light in here, but at the same time that wrecks my ability to record with that wide panned angle I'm normally using. Um, also, uh, when I I did a lot of leveling off screen, when I, I maxed out my my foraging and my lock picking and went back to one of the forts where, not realizing I was still off camera, went back to one of the forts where there was something I couldn't pick the lock yet, and I found these toy skeletons. I'm not sure what they're good for, but I also went and actually read some of the items and abilities that I've been neglecting for the, the entirety of my life, or that I've been here. So, I got a slightly better idea of what I'm doing here. I want the trail shoulder you see the meet of Patrick Lewis card in Iraq. Yeah, and so I'm a lot better off at this moment because I now know what I'm doing, surprisingly. <laughs> and Will says he's back into this. Translated as Patrick, my third is the third of a clever rhyme. Ah, looks like you found the circus. Those clowns we're talking about. Ugh, circus. That's like a clown hive. Fortunately, it's not a very big circus. There probably aren't very many clowns. Certainly not enough for an army of invas uh, or invasion force or anything. Still, since it turns out demonic clowns are a real thing, any number of them could be real trouble. You walk up as, no as nonchalantly as possible, so the clown manning or clowning the troll or ticket booth will suspect you know his horrible secret. Okay. Ooh. A foraging spot. Now that I maxed out my forage, and there's nothing I can't gather. <laughs> I may also have to go back to like every place I've been and look for places that I needed to pick a lock or something. As you approach, the clown puts out a base, a basically cheerful facial expression that retail employees use when the last thing they want to deal with is a customer, but they're not allowed to say so. Oh, Kiersey knows that feeling oh so badly. Talk to him. Welcome to Barney Dweeb House. Perfectly normal travel circus slideshow, sir. How can I help you? I'd like to see the circus. Well, you come from the right place, then. <laughs> but if you want to get inside, you'll need a ticket. I just so happen to have one of those. What? How did you... Er, well, great. Fine. Good for you, sir. I'll just take that and stamp your hand for re-entry. There we go. Enjoy the show. What about my partner? Partner's getting free. Okay, okay. If you enter the circus, the ticket booth clown shouts, Welcome to Barney Bass for the normal traveling circus slideshow, sir. In a loud, enthusiastic voice. Wow! You walk into the circus, actually, I guess it's more a carnival, but let's not split hairs. As nonchalantly as possible, there are a bunch of clowns around, working booths and so on. More clowns than customers, of which there are don't seem to be more than a dozen or so. Which is good, in that it means the clowns don't, can't, disappear, can't disappear you as easily as they figure, if they figure out what you know. But on the other hand, if things go wrong here, an innocent bystander just might get caught in the crossfire. Got it. Mary Garand has a dirty canvas trap over it. Condemned until further notice. We encourage anyone suffering from horse bites to consult a doctor. Okay. It's muscular clown seems to be guarding the entrance to some sort of stage. Stage show ain't till later. When? Later. Yeah, but when exactly? Later. Okay, jeez! It appears to be a shooting gallery type carnival game. Howdy, fella. What we have here is a game for sharp eyes and quick reflexes. Hope you won't take it as an insult if I suggest one of the other games might be more your speed, but you probably try your luck all the same. What's the game? Well, on the wall behind me, I've got a bunch of thick skinned, utter inflated balloons. For 10 meters, I'll loan you a cheap, inaccurate pistol and a pile of badly made ammunition, and your goal is to pop as many of those balloons as you can before the pistol stops working. That's an unusually honest sounding description. I discovered making the challenge sound exactly as difficult as, as it is. Only makes feel more determined to be the one who beats it. That actually sounds about right. I, I think that uh, if real world carnies did that, that'd be great. What's the prize? A ticket to Barney Bob Stage Show, which otherwise sold out, so it's a rare catch, my friend. Give me a minute. I am going to re equip. For like all the moxie I can, because moxie is your my me, my pistol damage inaccuracy and stuff. Oh, that that mask sucks. I should have sold it a long time ago. 
Well, there's two Moxie on this fake Pope hat. Oh, well, it's just armor. It's not. That's not gonna help me. Neither of these up my Moxie in any way. But the one I'm using does. Okay, do I got Moxie on a weapon? On a melee weapon? I still have a second. Uh, an extra. Varmint skin knife? I thought I. Got rid of. My spare, though, as well. There's two Moxie. We want to get our Moxie, like, up to the stratosphere. There's some more Moxie. I don't even want that floral ring on anyway. Anyway, Kurtz fit pots are all muscle armor and speed. That's not going to help me. Armor and armor. Okay. So we got our Moxie up. Let's see if that improves our odds with this. Okay, I'll give a shot. Shoot backwards and cross eye. <laughs> shoot for the hip or shoot for the wind. Shoot like the, like a jaguar. I'll shoot like a jaguar. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not in the blues for our grand prize, but still worth a little something. I got a plush kitten. Okay, let, let's try if I shoot from the hip. What prize do I get? Not a ruined prize at all. Okay, I'll try this one more time with a shooter the wind. Limit one kitten per customer. Okay. Well, fine. Let's take off all my moxie boosting stuff. What's my moxie temporarily at? 23. I need seven more moxie to get to that. Ugh. What's the plus kitten do? So, I need to get my gear back to what I actually want it to be. The cultist mass is six, Mr. Kelly. Sorry, Slappy Chef's hat. You lose. Because Mr. Cali is my real power. <laughs> Still stench damage. <laughs> okay. Da -da -da -da. These are just so silly. Don't I want something for more ancient bead can? And the sensor. Let's equip the sensor. See if that actually does any flavor text type stuff. Cordata's ring. I'll be keeping that because well, muscle ain't do me much good. No, 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 no. And AP because that'll give me more spells. Test your mind. Hey, I got my Mr. Kelly back up. This is be some kind of card based carnival game. Step right up, fellas. Step right up. If I may say so, you look of an intelligent and learned individual about you. And I happen to have a game here to put those fabulous to the test. What's the game? Simplest guessing game imaginable. I've got a standard deck of playing cards, show you all the faces, then I turn them back over and start picking cards. You guess what cards I pick, and you win. You don't shuffle them? No, sir. You can memorize a deck of cards as fat, uh, that fast and more power to you. Or if you got a, total, a touch of magic in you and want to try reading my mind, that's fine, too. Okay, what's the price? A ticket to Barnaby Bob Stage Show, which is why it's sold out. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You can't beat me. Give him all! Clowns start picking cards out of you, out of the deck and holding them up with the backs of you. You rattle off their names as fast as you can pick them up and he seems genuinely impressed. That, sir, is so remarkable as to be practically frightening. Looks like a winner. Okay. Now, what about if I don't do the giving my all and just give it a whole lot? Do I get a different... A small plush owl. I have a feeling these plushes will be useful somewhere. But at the same time, I'm just a generalized collector of things, so... Okay, kid, did you lose your parents? I am I lost my lucky bottle cap. You haven't seen it, have you, sir? No, but I'll keep an eye out. It's shiny steel, and it's on a little chain. Okay, I'll let you know if I find it. it. appears to be one of those test your strength games where you have to use the bell, a big hammer to ring a bell. Maybe later. The clown here selling rubber toy balloons. You notice that he's watching you, and he notices that you've noticed, and he smiles and waggles the balloons at you enticingly. Howdy, fella. Interested in a toy balloon? How much are they? For you, just 30 meat. What colors do you have? <laughs> well, look. Red. They're all red. How do they float like that? Why? There's nothing to it. Heck, they all float around here. <laughs> I get the air reference. I'll take it. <laughs> Anything else? Again? Did you tell me more about your circus? Really, it's more of a carnival. Blood us for the hair. So, what's the what you like? No. Where are your traveling plans? Haven't decided yet. 
That's why we set down somewhere a bit more rural. Keeps things relatively quiet while we scout around the lay of the land, all in all. Where'd you travel from? Where was, was your previous stop interesting? Oh, Northwest. It's, it was a little hole in the ground kind of place. You wouldn't have heard of it. <laughs> Why is everyone working here a clown? Oh, it's traditional. When the, what do you call them, rodeos stopped being put on. The rodeo clowns took other jobs at circuses and carnivals. All over, over the years, it just became a normal thing for carnies to be clowns. It's a community, you might say. So who's this Barnaby Bob guy? Oh, the boss is a real famous showman, though I'm not supposed to be surprised you wouldn't have heard of him around here. He got an eye like a hawk, a real whiz with those knives of his. Don't miss his show, it's a real highlight of the carnival. Okay, so you're on, clown. Catch you later, alligator. Yo. What's the game? Simple as can be. Just take the big mount here, hit the lever on the bell, ring the bell, you win! What's the prize? Take the burn I already got my ticket. But I'm willing to bet you got another plushie for me. What's my moosel at? I need one more moosel to be able to get. Well, let's see if I can get up my muscle more. More. More moosel. That's a four muscle. That's what I got right now. It's four moosel. I'm going to do the cavalry hat. That, that head sack's so weird. Oh, uh, that's just armor. There's no moosel to be found there. There's moosel and what's caliber? Six of it. I might be able to even be able to break 30. Moosel, moosel, moosel. Do I have any? I only got one moosel there. That should, that'd be enough. Oh, go big or go home. Do I got any more moosel lying around here? Sure do. Oh, I got a lot of moosel. Got like all the moosel in the world on this gear. Okay. Let's do this. I'm getting myself an extra ticket. Ding! You pick up the mallet, you toss it on over end, and catch a couple of times to test the weight, casually slam it the last. Well, I'll be! That's some genuine muscle you got, pal. Looks like you're a winner. You're a... I see you already got a ticket to Barnaby Bob's show, though. Those are limited to one patron. Let me give you the other grand prize. A large flush bear, huh? Oh, so I can... I can get a large... Let me get my Mr. Kelly stuff back on. I need my Mr. Kelly stuff back on. This isn't Mr. Kelly. This is just... I want my barber skin and knife. But Mr. Kelly, Mr. Kelly, Mr. Kelly. There, we're back above 30. Just get that on for, like, happies. So, am I going to get myself a large... Large plush owl. So, if I can win this, I'm going to get a large plush kitten. Which, let me just see for a second here. Oh, the mysticality of that. I do not regret one thing here, except maybe talking to all these clowns. <laughs> Truly was selling tickets to the sideshow. Hi, right, fella. Can I just read a wondrous, mysterious delight to the sideshow? What have you got in there? Secrets, mysteries, things too weird and disturbing to be witnessed by the light of day. Freaks. Not just freaks. Gosh, how much does it cost? For you, 300 meat! Number of animals, 300 meat! Not right now. Hot food, cold drinks, tepid candy, and the clown here selling balloons. Wait, is it the same clown as before? He looks identical. Is he following you around? Howdy, fella. Anything else I can do for you? Are you on the other side midway now? <laughs> nope, that's the other balloon guy. We just dress alike and use the same face paint. Did we fool you? He begins and gives you a, a big exaggerated wink, I see. And then, can you tell me more about your circus? Really, it's more of a carnival. Okay, I already learned everything I can here. So, it's either go to the sideshow, get all those random foods that aren't going to be any good for me, or go to the main show. I think I should go to the sideshow first. Even if it's going to cost me 300 meat, I need to see everything. 
The sideshow tent is fairly large and had weird things to look at. All good sideshows are. A few ladders are hung from the ceiling, casting flickering shadows around, making everything look more eerie. The clown is hanging out in here, presumably to keep an eye on the exhibits. He grins and nods at you enter. Come on in, take your time, yo. You got have a good look around. Just remember, no touching. No touching, huh? Shelves display a large collection of the strange little painted eggs. You see several shelves full of white eggs, each one painted with a unique pattern of colorful shapes. A small placard pinned to a shelf says, Clown Eggs. In the circus community, it's traditional for each clown to paint their chosen makeup pattern onto an eggshell. These clown eggs are archived for future reference to ensure that no one chooses a pattern that has already been used. It is considered extremely taboo to wear another clown's face. These must be the eggs for the clowns that work in this circus. You recognize a few of them, like the clowns here in the sideshow tent and the ticket seller the clown out front. Say, wait a minute, here's an egg for that balloon selling clown. Didn't he tell you there's another guy wearing the same makeup? According to the sign, it seems most unlikely. Step back, please, no touching, sorry. Shelves filled with jars, the jars are filled with things. You lean in closer to inspect the jars. Most, they mostly contain malformed and or, and or mutated animals pickled in formaldehyde. A three-headed kitten, some kind of ferret or weasel with eight legs, a twisted Mobius-looking snake without a head or a tail, weird, crazy stuff. One shelf seems devoted to huge, gross, pale growth, like fat, featureless white worms. The size of the sweet potato. The one, the one on the end is larger than the others and has a shiny black eye. Someone has painted its face in an apparent parody of clown makeup. The pasty, faced, the pasty white face has been painted with little blue triangles over the, and under the eyes. These, this, the creature has a long, thin slash of, of a mouth as well, and the area around it has been painted with bright red lipstick. The black eyes flash red as the thing suddenly thrashes in its jar, spinning to face you and stretching its mouth wide open, revealing rows of yellow shark teeth. You stumble back with a cry of shock. Ah! Catch you pretty good there, buddy! What is that? It ain't a real critter. It's made of rubber and clay and doll parts and such. Got an electromagnet under the shelf to move it with. He takes a little push button, gives him out of his pocket, and shows you. Should have seen your face. You jumped about eight right out of your boots. Ugh. Wow. Okay, now to hide my camera so I can read. I really should move that to the upper left for the rest of Westful Loathing. This guy is startling a startling sight, even for a circus freak show. His entire head is one enormous eyeball. As you look him over, he stares back at you. Not that he's got much choice. Talk to him. Hi there, I'm Jester. Uh, how's it going? Can you talk? Guess not. So, on uh, this circus gig... His hands slowly curl into fists and your knuckles turn white with tension. I see or understand, I mean. Take a closer look. As you move a little to the side and lean over the rope to get a closer look the guy, he's basically just what he seems to be at first glance. The guy with a giant eye overhead. You do notice two things for her, though. First, he has an odd lump at the, well, uh, you could call it base of his skull, if he had one. A sort of crumpled, fleshy mass that, the size of a fist with, squint, uh, with the squint and some imagination almost looks like a crushed and shriveled vertical vestigial remains of a human head. The second thing you notice is that his ankles are locked uh, locked to the legs of the stool, and the legs of the stool are rolled to the floor. Do you blink? Or wink, I guess? Guess not. Okay, so you're around. This man is neatly dressed, though his suit is a bit threadbare and out of fashion. He's smoking a pipe and leaping through a magazine. When you stop and look at him, he nods amicably. Talk to him. Hello there, welcome to the sideshow. My name's Douglas. I'm Chester. Delighted to meet you. So, uh, well, are you perhaps trying to think of a polite way of asking what's wrong with me? Yeah, you got me. Don't worry, Chester. I am being a shy, so, after all. It's an obvious natural question. Wait a minute. You said the last bit without moving your lips. Are you a ventriloquist? Not at all. I mean, damn it, straight. He stands up and turns around. His back is the same as his front. That is, his suit has been tailored with two front sides, and he has another face on the back of his head, with his hair cut and parted appropriately. Ta-da! And he sits back down. His knees and other joints crack and pop loudly as they reverse themselves. Uh, that d d don't know. Douglas winces slightly, though certainly not as much as you'd expect. What? Uh, surprising, yes? Well, a bit, yeah. How is that even possible? Douglas shrugs and holds his pipe to the now back of his head so his other face is taped off. Are you, what's the phrase, Siamese twins? Not exactly. It's, it is difficult to describe, I'm afraid. Two minds in one body with two faces? It would be closer to the truth to say two is the same mind. 
with, as you say, two faces. You're right, that doesn't make any sense at all. Feather face chuckles and Douglas holds his magazine behind his back. It took some getting used to, that much is quite certain. Were you born like this? I would rather not discuss how this came to be, if, that, if you don't mind. Okay, sorry, no apology necessary. Your knees must be erect. Surgery was necessary to permit them to bend in both directions. It sounds worse than it feels, I assure you. Why are you in a sideshow? With a regular suit and a haircut, you could easily pass for normal. I have a contract. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot the clown making a gesture that if you don't didn't catch what it was, it was to clear his throat. Plus, well, it's quite the life, you know. Free roam, free room and board, travel the world, and you meet such interesting people. Talk to you later, Douglas. This lady here with her head sticking out of a hole of a large metal box. She nods politely. And that box is awfully noisy. Another hello. Hello there. Enjoying the carnival? Well, it's interesting. She smiles slightly. Yes, I'm sure it is. Can I ask you a question? Certainly. What's your name? I'm Janet, and you are I'm Chester. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chester. Why in the box? That's a rather personal question, isn't it? Oh, sorry. I'm only teasing, dear. Would you like to see inside? Um, sure. Janet whistles to signal the clown, and he moses over. He unlocks the door, and the front of the box throws it open with a theatrical flourish. Inside, instead of Janet's body, you see a tangled, complicated assortment of glass tubes and pipes, ticking clockwork, gears, and pumps, liquids of various colors, mostly red, slush through the tubes, a large bellows near the top inflates and begins to slowly deflate. What do you think? It's some kind of trick, right? You're folded up behind a mirror in there or something. No trick. The clown chuckles and walks around to the back of the box. He opens the hatch and waves at you through it, then saunters back to the plate. It's amazing! And horrifying! Well, I'll take this as a comment. It's certainly educational, I imagine. The larger tank on the left of my stomach, if you'd like to see what I had for lunch today. Uh, sure. You watch the various liquids slosh around in their tanks and pipes. Weird, gross, but indeed educational. How'd this happen? You, were you in some kind of terrible accident? I'm sorry, I can't talk about that. Of course, sorry, it must be a painful memory. Her calmly composed face creases in to a very slight grimace as she shoots the side long glass of the gun. Yes. Well, it was nice to meet you. Okay, so I got a new perk out of that. Anatomical learning. More melee damage. It knows what makes a human being tick and how to stop one from ticking. Okay. Weird bent mirrors that make you look all crazy as if there wasn't enough crazy looking stuff around here already. It's like a mirror that's short and squashed looking, folded up like an accordion. You spend a moment moving back and forth in front of the mirror, seeing how the image changes. It's kind of amusing. Okay, so... Makes you look really stretched out thin, your lips twist and ride like snakes. It's a bit unsettling, and your muscles ache a little sympathetically. What's about this one? This mirror somehow shows what you would look like in clown makeup. Bloodshot eyes stare back at you from face to face, face painted with... An odd pattern of red triangles. In the flickering lantern light, it almost looks like he wins at you. <laughs> ah, clowny. Okay. Now, let us see this show. Um, okay. Say it shows paint. Ain't till later. I guess now we should just go back looking for anything I can forage. This is unusual. It's a wooded area in the middle of nowhere. Goblin has constructed a little lean-to with a rough wooden counter. It looks like something a kid would sell lemonade out of, except instead of lemonade, they in the display they got shiny bits of jewelry. Hello! Many hello to you, good human. Are you having interest in a fine example of Goblin jewelry craft? Gary, I, I would talk to it myself, but I'd probably make a mistake. Gary has the jewelry on display and chats with the Goblin for a moment, then trusts you and shrugs. Perfectly legit, too seeming. Are you shopping? Sure, let's look. I'm close to most of the jewelry on offer is rubbish, but you do spot a few rings that are rather nice looking. The goblin notices your interest. Rings are 100 neat for buying. Uh, sparkly ring? Goblin glass ring. Let me see the stats on this. Kills my muscle, but oh, that mysticality. Uh, I don't think there are any locked doors in here. Okay, no. Uh, nope. Uh, okay, I can't go back in there. I don't really want to, anyway. 
Did I leave anything for foraging outside? Commune with Miss Blast. Isn't she the mean lady? She was very, very terrible. <laughs> uh, you're reaching to Gretz's grave with your mind. The the pain. Oh no, you're late for your shift. Miss Blast is going to be so mad. She might literally bite your head off. Okay, well not literally, probably. Quick, let's suit it up. You clack in and hurriedly put your gre- Is this just how you get the numbers and stuff needed for solving puzzles? Late again, you better stop taking this job for granted. You think you're going to find a place with a nice dormitory and reasonably priced comfy store like ours somewhere else? With your skills? Ha! You're doing your three shifts today, Buster. Get to work. Um, yeah, this is just the... Uh, this is just... So I could have double-checked in-game, but... Okay, if my if I had my Mr. Cali buff and a thought to go out and look at that grave. Okay. Uh, now the Lazy Dude Ranch. Oh, this is where the hippies are. No, I got an herbal remedy. Enjoying your hat. Did you grow cow's bane? Oh, no. No way, man. Sorry, that's like the only stuff we actually get rid of when it grows. Why is that? It attracts cows, something fierce, man. You get more than, than like, one stock or whatever in the same place, boom, cows all up in your biz, man. Hmm. What if you had a fence to keep the cows out? Well, maybe, but it, it'd have to be a real serious fence, man, like, with barbs and all, like, major fencing, man. Okay, I'll see what I can do. So I can grow the cow's bane if I build a fence here. You know somewhere that's hiring a baker? I need to find someone that's hiring a baker for this poor woman. Get her away from the crazy hippies. Not that all hippies are crazy, but cra crazy hippies are definitely the worst kind. Cr crazy anything is definitely the worst kind, except for YouTubers, right? I I'll be over here if you need me. <laughs> okay. So, no foraging, no locked doors around here. There's just the El Vibrato technology. Okay, what about Fort All Dead? Any black doors that I left around here? Or any foraging outside the fort? Fortaging, if you will. There's gotta be something to do with the flagpoles, I think. There's no flag. No flag at all. Pardon me, begging for sorry about that. Beg your pardon. Okay. Crates. Do, 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 do. A trash bin I can't get into. Uh, a knapsack. I, don't, it's just, I already looted it. It was nothing but the but the book. I'm not hopping in a mass grave today. <laughs> uh, oh, there is a door back here. Oh, oh no! It's those it's those gross hot ingredients. Okay, anything else that I left in here? I already flushed all of these. Uh, <sighs> The toy skeletons are for this space! Well, I found them off camera, but I'm using them now. Deploy forces. You can probably get this army to attack a place by putting your little toy skeletons on the diorama thing. I'm gonna hold on to this, because there's currently two places I could attack with the toy skeletons, and I'm very curious about how efficient that is, or not, or whatever. Um, ba -da, ba -do, ba -da, ba -da, lost a trip in mine. There might be four. Howdy, Chester. Interested in trading? It's Modern Sally! You betcha, Modern Sally! I don't know what you got, but... Oh, you don't have to have a crowbar, do you? I'm out of money, but... A safe cracking book! Okay, so no crowbar, but safe cracking book. And that is a need. That is definitely a need. Give me, just give me a second to gather my thoughts. Um, I like my can of infinite beans. It's got, it's got low B stats, but of course, because the new, because it was an item at the beginning of the game. But I would just sell all the booze, but I. I'm willing to bet I'm going to need the Clown Warp Pollen, increase your resistance to elemental damage. Um, 
You know, I can always sell snake parts. I've got a lot of snake parts. I'm not selling my floral ring because I keep finding things where I need some stench resist, but this stench resist kind of sucks. I might sell that. But uh, but uh, but uh, I think I should just sell snake parts. Oh, hard tack, what's that? Increase your armor. Next, next books. Jellied escargot. I could sell the small pluses, I think. Yeah, I could probably do that. There are silver cufflings. I think I can melt them down at the silversmith to do something with them. I've got so many items that I probably should sell a lot of them, but I, I'm very reluctant to sell things in case there's some story use for them along the, down the road. And also, I'm very reluctant to look up a wiki to find out if there is, in fact, a some purpose for them down the road. Oh, these small plushes don't sell very well, but yeah, I can sell the small plush owl and bear at least. Yeah, I've got a lot of snake bits. But that's healing. I kind of want to hold on to some of that. I'll hold on to 50. Now, this sets an enemy on fire. That I can probably live without any of, but... I'll sell down to 50 of each of these snake parts. That way I've got a pretty big surplus, which still leaves me with around 1,500 more meat worth of snake parts lying around. Oop. Oh well. I can always get more. I want safe cracking. That's like I needed that. You quickly memorize the entire book. Time to get cracking. When you're done reading it, you lock it up in a safe that turns out to be slightly too difficult for you to crack, so it's gone forever. Dang it! Oh. Okay, so now I got a new ability. Safe cracking. I can only crack simple safes. I'm gonna have to level that up. I know. Too bad you don't got a crowbar. I would sell you all the rest of my snake parts for just a crowbar. Okay, well, let's go uh, check out the next area on our list. We are on our way to Loft of German Mine. Smell it before you see it. A skeleton trudging towards you, covered in mud and muck and smelling like garbage juice. It must have crawled out of some horrible bog nearby, and if a skeleton smells this bad, the bog must be unimaginable. So it makes sense that even a skeleton would want to get away from there. Let's fight it. We got a skeleton. <laughs> but yeah, with my mesticality buff like it is, and uh, and having actually spent time leveling this up, sixty-two damage by lava fava. Boom! Plus I lit on fire for three damage per part of the first turn, and burn damage just gets worse every turn. So if I encounter something big and tough that takes a lot, it takes a real licking. Oh, I need my, I need that ring that I don't really like because of the fact that it defies my spittoon encrusted glory. I thought I put on the floral ring. Oh no, it's not the floral ring. It's the, it's the sweet smelling flowers of my offhand. What, what does the floral ring? Makes forging random towers more likely. I should be doing that. I thought I read all my items and knew what I had, what I was doing. The crowbar. Okay, so what I need for this area is a crowbar. But I can oil this and ride down. You emerge from the elevator in a deeper shaft. By the light of your lantern, you see exposed meat veins on nearly every surface. It's unusual that there would be this much readily available meat left in a working mine. What were they digging for if not this? Let's get to meat. Why is there a crazy man? This guy's totally out of it. He's gibbering and drooling and doesn't even seem to see you. Gotta talk to him. 
Hey, buddy, you okay? Uh-huh, you wave your hand in front of his face, but it's sending you right... Okay, so he's lost his mind. Am I going to lose my mind if I dig all his meat? Shovel's dull to uselessness. There's a hole. Miner's digging with his helmet. Broken pickaxe. What's going on here? Looks like a miner died trying to dig deep with their hands. What were they digging for here? And this guy seems to have gnawed off his own hands before he died. He starts to feel very uneasy. Finger rolls are all splintered. Terry, you're back in next stanza. <coughs> oh. Okay. What's going on? What's going on here? This gem is pretty, but smells terrible. Let's try it. A fluvious emerald. Guy works his fingers to the bone, digging and then works his bones to the marrow. His heart is pounding. The scratches are just painted on in blood. You have to get the, out of this pit right now. The gouge marks are dark with blood. You have to get out of this pit. As you get near the rocks, the voices in your head begin screaming to, too loudly to ignore. You have to get out of this pit right now. I, I know, but I'm curious now. You can't do this to me. I have a... Fine, let's go check the Potemkin Gang's place for anything I've missed foraging. Oh yeah, this is a fake town. There's nothing to forage here, is there? This isn't worth messing with. I dropped a jail on him. Okay, nothing here. Rescue mission? I don't think I left anything at the rescue mission. You have come with a run-in with a worst smell of snake you ever seen. It's basically a cartoon stink line coming to life. Let's just melt you with my lava fava. And the wapoos! Although seriously, when I'm wandering, I should really remember to switch to my floral ring before I leave an area. Because there's a lot of good stuff you can forage, apparently. Both of the stuff that I have been foraging and... Uh, yeah, you could sell me some healing items, or some boofs, or some of the, or the things that I've already sold that told to you. No, thank you, lady. Now, to take my own advice, get rid of that thing. I, I want to just permanently get rid of the, the flowers, but I know I'm going to need them to get back into the Dutch oven mine later. Okay, the big apple. Did we clean up the big apple? Some distance of the trail, you see a water tower that appears to have a squirrel small leak. Let's plug her up. Fire a single bullet into. Th Wouldn't that make the hole bigger? Yeah, we cut, we we clean up the big apple. Old millinery. Find a liquor cabinet. Fine, I'll take some liquor. I can buy more lockpicks later. Okay, this was the hat plant place where I had to expose the black hat gang. No music. I got a lock pick now. And I got safe cracking now, but is this a simple safe or a complicated safe? It's required a safe cracking of two. I'm gonna turn the auto spending of my experience off, and I'm gonna get safe crack in a two so that I can come back here and actually do something. Okay, what do we got? Skeleton robber people. -els. Well, let's drop some snow or some icy beans on y'all. Y'all. Only 15 experience. How much do I need to get that level of safe crack? I can get it right now! Okay, so we're going back there after I take a look around here. It's empty. Okay. Now, I already got directions from the one whispering skull. Okay, submission catacomb. This is where I fought the three skelly guys. Just some trash. Ugh. Clove, cheroot butts, stubs of black eyeliner pencils, things like that. The necromancer's called us really litter bugs. 
Shame though, how did they even get in here? Let's, let's investigate. Got a burned scroll. Is that gonna add, be added to my next mix notes? The scroll is in bad shape. You can't really make out anything new, but you're convinced this must be another clue to the whereabouts of the necromancer. So you should scroll in your journal. Okay. Cryptic note about. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Back to the millinery, because I've got my safe cracking now. But the bridge is only wide enough for two at a time. Uh, the puzzle of a family of four crossing a bridge. Oh wait, that's just, just just a family of four crossing a bridge. It's not the puzzle. The puzzle is a fox, a chicken, and grain. A prototype Stetson. What are the stats on this? Three each to muscle, muscle mysticality, and moxie. Okay, 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 okay. okay. If I ever figured I wanted to be, uh, to go hybrid on all my stats, I'd... Fama! Whoosh! Okay, so yeah, now with the Alpha level up over here, I am a bit overpowered for everything on this side of the mountain. So now I really should actually end up going back to... We already found everything here, so that's good. The clown campsite, however, had nothing. Civil three man tent, which probably sleeps about 40 clowns. Okay. Da 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 Okay. Open the third locker. Crack the safe. Nothing, nothing inside except a couple of old milk bottles and there's carved paper caps. These caps advertise the Butterfield Dairy, which is a little logo. And I already know the Butterfield Dairy location. Anything else in this place? Oh yeah, there's the compass that... The compass? I forgot about the compass. That minecart... That was a ghost minecart. The minecart over here is transparent. It's a ghost minecart. I didn't notice that the first time. Butterfield Ranch. Anything left here? <sighs> okay, why are rocks shooting? A crack shot to being with practice to shooting the cracks. New cracks making new shooting. I am seeing that. The two of them continue speaking, but you lose thread of the conversation very quickly. Eventually, Gary waves and the other goblin goes back to target practice. Nice fellow. Here, a sandwich was to giving me. You are holding it. I guess I am now. Okay. Now. Uh, I don't know if I want to turn all my milk into butter. I'll just take one butter for now. No, oh, no. I'm not doing the cow monolith, whatever. I already did the blood pack with the weird doll. Okay, there's nothing there. Dynamite dance. Oh wait, this is this is the shop that sells nothing but dynamite. Okay, have fun with your dynamite, sir. The snake spring. This was my leveling spot. What are so oh, when I was off screen? Oh, I should turn my um, 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 auto spend experience back on. I really just wanted it off enough to be able to get my safe crack. The professor's house. Look at the unusual pile of rocks. You can always make a keystone with five more of all around. Chances are you can take the keystone to the loft of your mind and look for unusual pile of rocks. That was something he told me to do. Okay, so. That lost touch of in mind. So much going on that I forgot about things. El Vibrato stuff. I always like getting more El Vibrato stuff. Well, that's a new you, sir. 
Yeah, and if anything survived more than a turn in a fight, which I'm sure we're gonna encounter a few things that will later, but if anything survives more than a turn in a fight... Okay, so... I need to switch back to the... Nice smelling flowers! So beautiful! Okay, and... Strange pile of rocks. Strange pile of rocks. Oh! Oh! Okay, so what I need to do is... Where's that keystone? I wish this inventory had a search feature. That would be real nice. But I made an Elvirado keystone somewhere. 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 <laughs> Oh, we're about a teleporter, punch card, transponder. Oh, where is my keystone? Is that the Elvarado stuff that you put the whole? That'd make it a lot easier to find, because you know, no, it's not. Oh, your stuff. Oh, ha 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 ha! Quest items. I, I didn't get rid of my keystone, though. Books. Miscellanary. Miscellany. Consumables. Combat items. I don't know. It would be in the key items, I I would think. Those are the stones are mortared together. There we go. Okay. So now a loyal piece missing from this weird crossbar thing. Okay, okay, let's we'll find the trapezoidal piece. Okay, so I don't understand him. Is the trapezoidal piece here, or is there something I'm gonna have to go make with scraps at the professor's house? Crowbar. I wouldn't be surprised if that piece that I need is inside the crowbar thing. Professor. Oh, solving this mystery seems awfully difficult. It's a tumble skull. Here, tumble skull, have a bean. It'll be your new best friend. Mm -hmm. Boof. Okay, professor, I need a new keystone or whatever. You know, I don't know much about, I don't know much about the mysticality of mystical mumbo jumbo. It's very unscientific, but it's come up with my research from out of time, so I can give you a basic overview. Yeah! He draws some curved intersecting lines on a piece of paper and explains how they relate to local geography and so-called mystical forces. Pretty interesting stuff. Makes sense considering what you already know about magic. Okay, so let's fabricate a key. Yeah, trapezoidal piece. Simple enough to be understood by a lame. The diagram is surprisingly comprehensible. You stick it in your necromancer journal. Okay, so now, now we can go back to the lost to the lost of your mind, find out more about this stuff that's going on. <laughs> Walk all crazy like, because you know. The silly walking book from the beginning of the game that cures me and says we kick I don't know how long I'm going to be recording this. I forgot to set my timer. You know, that timer that keeps me from being a total goon and recording for two hours straight and 
making you put up with my nonsense plus the game's nonsense simultaneously forever. Woo. You bend over to examine the device. Next time you stub your toe on it, it hurts, but the box moves. It must be later than it looks. I got another El Vibrato device. What's this thing? Oh, no! You have learned that El Vibrato word for toilet. Oh, I've got a... Another, need another keystone. There might be a doorway. There's no keyhole or handles or anything. Strange device has three buttons on top of it. I'm leaving them be for now, because I'm just looking around. Is there like a whole bunch of teleporters at this spot? Okay, let's try the thing. These things aren't friendly, neither am I. Yes, boy. Oh. I can nuke you in two hits. Or I could have Gary nuke you in one attack, but he doesn't worry because he does like eight hits. Six hits. Mm. Ah! You guys are interesting! And loud! Whiff! And reasonably tough! I don't think I want to hit the third button. So this is an infinite vibrato fight. I can live with this. Got more punch cards, more scraps. Let's just do the first button again. Go ahead and kill it. Because mm. that should have me at five scraps again, right? Eight scraps. Eh, five, eight. Who, who am I to judge? Or count? Uh, I think before we should get too far into the El Vibrato mystery, though, I should probably go finish my double checks of everything that I may have missed. At least I know now what the, skele what the toy skeletons are for, and... A nearby cloud of dust turns out to be a bandit on a horse riding hell for leather for unknown reasons. Well, I know them, but you don't. You pull your horse up alongside her as mad speed. Hey, what's up? Where's the fire? Get Ben and or lost. Must worry about riding too fast. You should be careful. There's a lot of geomedia day activity around. What? The rest of her sentence is cut off as her horse trips over a gopher hole and goes down to a, in a snarling a snarl of flailing with the dust. You catch your meat pouch and out of the air and as, as miscellaneous loose possessions fly out of the tumbling cloud. Them's the brakes! <laughs> Gustafson Gulch. Oh, this is the civilized gabbins. I can't go join their cult or whatever. The old railroad camp. Was there things to forage here? I thought there were things to forage here that I missed. Nothing much to see here now. Triumph over that rock pile guy. I remember that triumph. I earned that triumph. Okay, Cavern Canyon. Dangerous spider. Not spider or is singular, just one spider. No way you're going back in there. It's a crowbar for that one. I kind of want to get that one. I need that crowbar. Nothing useful, nothing interesting. Being a cave, there's not going to be any doors here for me to pick the locks on. Okay. On to Fort Cowardice. Dark cultists. I can take on some cultists. Oh, this close to being the game, they're just so, so dead. So instantly dead. Frightening topics of death, Max. I got another Dex Max book! Yay! Yeah! Yeah. Okay, Fort Cowardice. Anything in here? Oh, that was the infinite 
books and stuff. There's a lot pick the door. There's a probably shouldn't try to open this pie safe with a goblin shooting at it. Goblin seat of the desert repeal his way to the pistol of pie safe. Their attention. Uh, what are you doing? Shooting pies. Always, always shooting pies. Can you elaborate on that? Why shooting pie? Yes. To destroying, obviously. Must be destroy must be destroying a terrible pie. What is wrong with the pie? Bah. A human will never understanding. Ask you again. No, really, why have pie shooting? Shut up, so much angry. Keep trying. Look looking, I am pretty sure that being a pie is destroyed. Destroy a uh, huh? Look, Sony holds it in a pie safe. You winning, a pie is dead. You certain being? Waiting here while I check it. You peek through the boy. Yep, that pie is <laughs> Hooray, you are a success. A pie is so very destroyed being. I, I doing it, so much doing it. But now what, huh? What I should be now? Um, I guess you finding another pie. What? There are more pies being? Yes, a world full of pies. Oh no, the violencing will never ending. Sorry, being, not wishing to enabling this behavior. So, no, this is my cross bearing. I must go in and continuing the fight. Okay, thanking you. Okay, wishing you good luck against the force of pie. You should be leaving a hat and a gun, having a fresh start. Yes, correct being. I will be fighting each pie as if it was first pie being. General cop's hat and gun. <laughs> Goblin strolls out the door, jaw clenched, eyes resolute with pie hatred. Well, that was weird, because I'm the general now. I don't let pie. Okay, the stats on these are going to be sillyly low, but I, I earned this. <laughs> and... This pie has been shot so many times that it is filled now with uh, is, uh, is filling with now 100% bullets. Increases range now by 10 for this today. That sounds pretty nice. If I were, uh, what's, what's the gunslinging class? The snake oiler. <laughs> Several goblins sleeping there. A shadow climbing up at the window behind me, like it's a snaky, like it's a snaky. Smelling salts, laudanum. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take all of it. It says toilet in goblin. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the one thing worse than a normal toilet is a goblin toilet. Our false wagon was too drunk to strap it down. Supplies, okay, just random supplies out of nowhere. I can live with this. I keep forgetting. Do you have? Oh, you got needles. I'm gonna need more of those because I keep using them, but... You do not have the precious... Oh, uh, well, there's nothing precious about a crowbar. It's just, a, it's just a crowbar, but apparently they are like the rarest things in the world, so I'm gonna have to make sure that my next character gets the... Taking up the graveyard. Got brown boots. A little AP bonus. Let's put them down for good. Now that I, now that I'm a bit tougher. Realized mm. Dave C went down on theater. Put him down for good. Don't you look at me with that little plank like that. Boom. Skeleton bone. Nothing new. Dave J. Rah 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 pow. Dave L. Died of heart attack. See you in negative 36 years. Uh, I don't know. This guy's able to get this guy can't save a fellow from like 40 angry bears. There was some lunch that I took. Beat the dickens out of the... Is that a bread hat? Do you have a bread hat on, sir? Go in! <laughs> With your bread hat. Smart looking skeleton. I think not. Okay, this is like an infinite skeleton's fighting spot. I, I'm sure I discovered that before, but I'm still... I'm just double checking this area. Dave, Dave D, it, the truth was out there. It killed him. Mur murdered by a fella named Dave G. Oh, it isn't moving. Skull with an odd tag on it. Question mark? The skull has a little piece of paper tied to it, which has inner cemetery load on one side and some notes on the other. 
the tag on the skull is a serial number. It says it was borrowed from the submission catacombs on February 19th, 1886. I mean, I need to go all the way back up to the old mission. To, I, I'm I, I'm going to double check all the areas down here first before I sidetrack to go fix that. Um, it's automatic fuel presser. Okay, I don't know what's up with these three machines in the middle of nowhere. Snake pit mine. Boards, board, blue. Ooh, bean iron. Okay. I feel kind of good about revisiting old places to gather stuff, but at the same time, it seems awfully boring some. Stearns Ranch. Then the Solishman's house, the tannery. The tanneries are where I was at fairly recently, though, so that should be an issue. Crack the safe, stock certificates. Some family investors. They just sell them. Okay. That's fair. Oh, yeah, this is where I made the deal with the crazy doll, not the other house. But now I got more lockpicking and more stock certificates. I'm just gonna be rich turning all this stuff in for me. Oh wait, I did, I, 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 there's still more outside of it. Double check. Foraging? Foraging? I leveled that up for a reason, you know. Flower is smoking. Smoking chrysanthemum. Okay, okay, okay. Oh now, Mr. Silversmith's house. Ooh, more cultists. I can get more next next books. I think since this character's already mysticality uh, 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 affiliated, I might just go about getting all of the next mechs I can and then using it like all at once. Uh, spittoon? At least it looks like a spittoon, but next to the bed it might actually be a bedpan. Investigate it. What, really? I mean, it's just a spittoon, that's bad enough, but it might be a bedpan and that would be way worse. Investigate it! I feel like maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We we're talking about an object that someone probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk to the outhouse. And the best you can hope for is maybe they only use it to spit nighttime tobacco juice into it. In which case, it's only full of rancid, congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating it. I are you even listening to me, or are you just sort of skimming past the text? Bed pan. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there, and you are stopping me. Bed pan. Shut up. I'm investigating. Okay, fine, have it your way, your own filthy, disgusting way. It turns out to probably not be a bad pan, but it is definitely a spittoon. And it is definitely filled with rotting brown spit. Fish around in it. What is wrong with you? Bite me! <laughs> oh, good God, okay. You plunge your hand into the, it, up and up to the wrist. It makes a gloop noise and breaks the thick skin of congealing toxins that was previously keeping the dire smell in front of Jack. Now you are choking in a miasma of oily, bitter jaw stink. <laughs> You know that the feeling you get when you're about to puke, how you get the taste way back in the rear corners of your mouth, that metallic tang by the root of your tongue like you're sucking on a corroded old penny. Just tell me what I thought already. You found a filthy slime-covered old brooch. Are you happy? I bet you're going to put it on without even watching it first. Maybe I will. What's the stats? Two to eat to my stats. The brooch would be much smaller if it weren't for the clear of tarnished and dried tobacco spit. This item goes on your lapel. What am I currently wearing on my lapel? And what I'm wearing right now is better for the time being. Wait, this is safe. And stuff. Shelf looks pretty picked over. It's a grits and blown pudding. I need another level safe, Kraken. I forgot that during combination of this confounded thing. If you can open it, you're welcome to what's in that. What's in that? Okay. To what's in it? Okay, 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 okay. So I get another level safe character and I need to come back to the Silversmith's house. I have a feeling I'll forget to do that and just go through double checking everything all over again. Okay, Danny's Tanner. Yeah, I was here pretty recently. But that was before I went leveling up my lock picking, so if there's anything that need anything that needs picking here. 
And before I got safe cracking, no, there's no safes, no locks. Um, is there any barbed wire in all the barricading and stuff? No. Because I was told by that hippie guy he'd plant my cow, my cow's bane if I had if I provided him a proper fence. How much do I need for my next safe crack? 200. I'm only one experience away. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm not falling into this trap again. Shaggy Dove Cave just exists to waste your time. That's it. No smoldering hole in the ground. I reckon that is a southwest coal snake. Okay, I'll thrust a fight upon this coal snake. Oh, one point short. I probably should buff up for muscle. Okay. Desert house. This is the last one before I... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Safe cracking. Back to silversmiths. Back to auto leveling until I have anything else that I know that I need. Okay. Silversmith's house, Silversmith's house, then the old mission, and then the next video is going to be nothing but good old new content. We're all exploring the rest of the map and completing more story stuff. <sighs> Might do another bout of training off camera to max out my, my safe crack and just so we have it for not having to revisit places. So, if the skull that I found was on loan from this mission, then that means that empty skull hole? Oh, that's just a little bit of experience for turning in that skull. Alright, alright. Well, I think I recorded enough here, and you guys can ignore this entire video. So, just going picking up the pieces of what I, of what I already had. And I think I've been recording for, oh, I don't know, the better part of an hour almost now. So, see you guys next time.